Hi guys, this is David Fine with Keys Moz. Welcome to the Wacky Worm series. Today we've got a wacky South Florida bug for you. It's the Ello Sphinx, Uranus Ello, great common moth down here in South Florida with a wacky worm. Guys, we're gonna show you all about this species in just a couple minutes. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. That helps out our tr channel tremendously. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications, and share it with your friends. Uh, when you do, when you subscribe, you will get you more videos like these. Guys, I think you're gonna like this bug. Check it out. The Ello Sphinx is one of South Florida's most common Sphinx moths. Definitely the most common Sphinx in the Florida Keys. Wingspans from four to five inches long with a matte gray forewing and thoracic region and head uh, gray coloration. Uh, hind wing is awesome. Blood red color, deep red when they're fresh, very pretty. A uh, hind wing with a black uh, outer margin on the wings. And the abdomen's got five pairs of these little black squares that go down the, the base of the abdomen and it almost kind of resembles a rib cage. Really, really neat coloration. Uh, they keep all that hidden, the hind wing and the rib cage thing on the abdomen, they keep that hidden while at rest and kind of flash it when they're disturbed by a potential predator, uh, maybe as an attempt to try and uh, scare them away with their red coloration. Guys, the Ello Sphinx is a very common moth, like we said, in South Florida has a pretty wide range, ranges from most of the United States, it can be found at some place or another, all the way down through Central and South America and throughout the Caribbean. Sexes are dimorphic. You can see the uh, males have this black streak uh, across the forewing. Females lack that black streak and females tend to be a little larger. Eggs are laid singly on the leaves of the host plant. They're round with a kind of a creamish yellow coloration. Caterpillars, of this species are truly a wacky worm. They are very uh, highly variable in their coloration. They have a matte gray color when they're little and they've got lots of like different reds and greens and kind of uh, pattern, patterns that go on and uh, they're, they're highly variable. Young caterpillars have a red horn on the back and as the caterpillar matures, it will lose that horn, that typical sphinx caterpillar horn and the final instar larva actually has no horn whatsoever. Uh, final instar caterpillar is typically green or brown, two colorations that are common, and they're pretty simply colored compared to their earlier instar larvae, but that final instar caterpillar has a really cool feature. It's got in the middle of the thoracic region, uh, in between the uh, segments uh, in the thoracic region, when it is disturbed, it'll expand those segments and reveal this really cool looking cyclops looking eye spot uh, marking in the middle of the thoracic region. They feed on a variety, wide variety of plants. Uh, a lot of the euphorbs down here in South Florida, you can have Ello Sphinx uh, larvae on those. You can find them on ficus. If you have papaya trees, uh, you'll, you'll find them on papaya trees. They love poinsettias, uh, both the native poinsettias, the little tiny weed that grows here in weedy fields in South Florida, as well as the uh, big red poinsettias that you can buy uh, around Christmas time. Uh, we found them on buttonwoods. We found them on a number of different uh, plants down here in South Florida. Common moth, they readily come to lights. They very commonly come to lights. Uh, they come to flowers. We find them on male papaya blooms. They like pentas, things like that. You can find them uh, hovering over these flowers and nectaring at twilight in the crepuscular hours. When the caterpillar is ready to pupate, uh, it'll crawl off the plant down underneath the ground and bury itself and make some kind of a cocoon underneath the ground, uh, maybe in shallow leaf litter, and it'll pupate there. The pupa is dark brown with some, some kind of like streaky coloration on it. Kind of a neat pupa. Uh, love Sphinx moths, they're real easy to raise and super cool bug, really, really pretty uh, moth when they're fresh and they can be super common down the Florida Keys. But guys, that's about all the time we have. The Yellow Sphinx is a great South Florida bug you can commonly encounter down here, easy to find. Uh, if you like the video, like I said, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, super important because we're trying to 
build our YouTube family on Keys Mods. We have a great website, has all the mods of the Florida Keys documented there, all 593 species that we found so far, documented and photographed there. That website's www.keysmods.com, www.keysmods.com. Don't forget to go there to check out uh, our complete photographic catalog of the mods of the Florida Keys. Guys, that's all the time we have for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, give us a thumbs up, share us with your friends. Until next time, just get out there and enjoy South Florida. Take care.